I welcome you, precious people, to Word of the Week. Today we are looking at the prophecies of grace. The end always clarifies the beginning. Genesis creation account is so deep that we will need the book of Revelation to properly understand it. The book of Revelation in part is the revelations of the things prophetically hidden in the book of the beginning. Genesis creation account. Revelation reveals the beginning. We are saying here in part, Revelation reveals Genesis. The last two chapters of the Bible, Revelation chapter 21 and chapter 22, fulfills the prophetic images in the first two chapters of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2. This said, let's look at the third day of Genesis creation account. Day 3, God planted vegetation and trees that will carry seed in them. Seed that will grow and develop in life form into adulthood. Day 6 again, God made man who will have seed as well that will develop and form into adulthood. This seed will be in their fruits, in their mature development. Only grown-ups can have seed. So here is the point. The tree of creation, God prophesied his nature as the God of grace. The concept of seed forming into adulthood is fulfilled as the seed of God formed on earth into the fullness of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. God on day three began prophesying a new dispensation in the realm of life, a movement from babyhood to adulthood. These are the ancient prophecies of grace, even before mankind was created. Adam and Eve were created into the prophecy of grace, into the loving arms of the God of grace. Day three, God made the earth. Look at it, friends. The very day God made the earth, God began prophesying His grace. The fatherhood of God through raising offsprings. Only through grace, God becomes our Father, the grace of Christ. The very day the earth came forth, God prophesied His grace as He announced the seeds of the fruits that will grow into the adult trees. Seeds are not separately created. Seeds come from the adult to develop into the adult. Mary received the seed of God and brought forth Christ into the world. We too, receiving the seed of Christ, become Christ-like in life. This is the prophecy of seed, a little content carrying the life of the full adult. The only distance between the seed and the full adult is growth. The growth journey is the blessed journey of grace. The tree God revealed reproduction and growth. Trees will reproduce and grow. Mankind will grow. Christ likeness will be growing on earth. This is the ancient prophecies of grace. And here we are today fulfilling this prophecy as we mature in Christ likeness day by day. Note that before day three, never was it seen in heaven that beings could reproduce and then grow. Probably, never was it seen, never was it had, never was it even mentioned before now. God is new every day. This new perspective injected into eternity is grace dispensation from the God of grace first prophesied in fruits containing seeds, fruits containing another adult life. The seed of a mango tree is another mango tree. The adult is in the seed. The seed is in the adult. Christ in us, we in Christ. The fruit of the tree of life was to convey the seed of God to man in the beginning as the fruit of the tree of knowledge was to convey the seed of the evil one to man as well. The one whose seed you carry is the one to whom you truly belong. Mankind received the seed of Satan in the fruit of the 
evil tree of knowledge, making all humanity Satan's children from birth. Only redemption in Christ Jesus reverses this. The two trees in the garden were two beings in the garden symbolized by trees. Trees who were taught earlier in creation bore seed in their fruits. Those two trees bore the seed of the beings they represented in their fruits. The Lord Jesus Christ is abundant life. Satan is everlasting death. The two trees bore these two seed in their fruits, life and death. And in them God prophesied the life of the future. Which future is human life as it is today? Friends, in the fruit of the Spirit that we are called to demonstrate every day is the powerful seed of God to reproduce Christ-likeness on earth. From the three Genesis creation account, we know that the seed is in the fruit. Fruit bears the seed. The fruit of the Spirit is the container that bears the seed of God. Allow the Holy Spirit to have enormous movements in your life and see fruits abound world without end. And then ultimately, Christ-likeness populates on earth. Only Christ-likeness can reproduce Christ-likeness. Thank you. God bless you. Amen.